I'm Vanessa Antonelli and I'm here at Nestle Baby and today I'm reviewing two strollers, the differences between them, because I find right now in our stores these are the two most compared strollers by customers and customers are having a lot of difficulty choosing between the two because they both have amazing, very similar features. Here we have the 2015 Up A Baby Cruise and the brand new Mamas and Papas Armadillo Flip Stroller. Two fabulous strollers, both in similar price points. Let's discuss the price first so you kind of have an idea on where you stand. For a cruise with a silver frame, now right now the one you're looking at has a black frame. Certain colors come in silver and certain colors come with a black frame. They're not interchangeable between each other. So this color particularly is called Georgie. It's a blue color and it comes with a black frame. And this stroller is $529.99. If you choose to add a bassinet, which we'll talk about a little more in a few minutes, the bassinet itself is going to be $199.99. However, if you decide to go with a silver frame, the stroller price goes down to $499.99 and the bassinet price goes down to $189.99. So all in all, it's a pretty good value for a stroller that's going to take you for about, I would say about three years with a child. The armadillo also really similar. You'll see the flip has a black frame as well. Now the flip comes standard with a black frame. So if you get a flip stroller, it's always gonna have a black frame and the stroller itself is $499. The, $0.99. The bassinet is $219.99. Um, also really similarly priced. However, there is another stroller in this family called the Armadillo Flip X. And I'll discuss those differences in a little while as well. That particular stroller has a silver frame and the price on that is $599.99 and the bassinet price stays the same at $219.99. So now you know the prices, let's go over the actual differences and similarities between the two strollers. For starters, you're both going to see, you're going to see that both strollers have really closely sized wheels. These wheels are foam tires, so they're never going to go flat on you. They're never going to puncture. They're really no hassle tires and you can push them over most basic terrains. So we're talking malls, nicely paved streets, you know, going for walks outside, um, even city streets. But if you guys, if your family is like the type that loves to go hiking, then these two strollers aren't for you. However, I personally think the wheels are excellent for the average family's lifestyle. All right, so now you can see that both have handlebars. The, obviously both have handlebars. The cruise handlebar extends by pressing this button. You can extend it based on the height that you need. The armadillo's handlebar does not extend. Um, and you'll also see that it's, it's a little bit lower than the initial height on the handlebar of the cruise. So if you're a little bit shorter, this goes a tiny bit shorter, but if you're taller, this can obviously go taller. Now you will um, find that on the armadillo flip XT, which I discussed the price of before, that particular stroller will have an extendable handlebar. So if you choose this one and you want the handlebar to extend, you'll just go with the XT version. Another similarity between the two are the basket sizes. Ma um, Mamas and Papas has really, really improved the size of their basket with the armadillo. It's very easily, easily accessible because it has elasticity here. Um, you can access it from the front or the back. And we all know that Up A Baby is known for their fabulous baskets and the cruise baskets does not disappoint. Also easily accessible, perhaps a little tiny bit larger. Um, both are still good for families that are going to be on the go all day, putting a lot of stuff in their stroller. Um, you can see there's very little difference in the size. Now, you're probably wondering why the stroller is called the armadillo. And if you're not, it doesn't matter because I'm going to tell you anyway. It's called the armadillo because it folds into itself. That means when you fold this stroller, it's kind of like folding in the way an armadillo animal folds. Very cute name that kind of goes along with the concept. But what's unique about this stroller is that it's going to fold with a seat facing in both directions. That is very, very unique. You're not gonna find a lot of strollers on the market that do that. So obviously the seat can face both ways um, and you can fold it both ways. Check this out. This is facing in. You're gonna simply push down here, flip the seat back, oops, and lift. Really, really light at only 20 pounds. The XT version, is about 21 or and a half, 22 pounds, I think. So it weighs a little bit more, but it um, folds the exact same way. And that extra weight in the XT version is just gonna come from tires with bigger treads. More terrains you can basically go on with that stroller. Um, to open it up, you simply open the side, the lock on the side. You're gonna open it and give it a little, just give it a little push and stand up. 
the way I showed it to you is with the seat facing in. It's exactly the same with the seat facing out. You just don't have to do that one step where you flip the seat back. Really awesome. The other thing that's cool about it is when I was folding it, you'll probably notice I didn't do much bending to open it or close it. This is really great for anyone that has a back issue. I hear time and time again from customers that people just have issues with their backs, you know, pain and problems. They don't want to do a lot of bending and lifting or reaching to the ground to pick up their stroller. This stroller doesn't make you do that. The most you bend is to push the seat and that's it. So I do recommend this stroller for someone who might have a back issue um, for that reason. And also the weight is really great for someone that might have a back issue. Now, the cruise will not fold with a seat facing the parent. So until your child's face is outward, which is somewhere between a year to a year and a half, depending on your choice, um, you're gonna take the seat off in order to fold it. However, super easy. Popping the seat off is just like this. No problem and really easy. Now when you have the seat on, in the forward facing position, all you're gonna do is pull these triggers right here and they're gonna collapse the entire stroller. You can lift up on it to pick it up. This stroller weighs 21.5 pounds. So it's within a pound and a half of the armadillo and also really easy to close and open. To open it, you just undo the side and swing it out. And there you have it, really simple. Some other similarities and differences are the canopy sizes. Let me flip the seat around so that you can see it. Both strollers have really generous canopies. So if you're concerned, which most parents are, about the UV rays that your child gets, these are both great choices. Check that out. You don't see full coverage like that on a lot of strollers. Whereas the Cruise has a smaller standard size canopy, but it has this great extension that comes out that's also SPF 50. You have excellent sun protection on your child no matter which stroller you choose. Additionally, you're gonna see that there is a peekaboo window right here. This is a plastic peekaboo window. And the Cruise, I'm not sure if you can see that, has a peekaboo window with mesh. Both allow you to see into your child. This one will give you a little bit of extra ventilation, you know, when it's a breezy day, summer months, things like that. The recline on both strollers is pretty great. The Cruise, you push right back here, and you can recline it in multi positions. This would be a fully reclined seat, and the footrest also adjusts. On the Armadillo, it has what I call a full flat recline. So it lays completely flat, you'll see, and the footrest is also adjustable. Like that. The Armadillo fabric is really, really cushy. Obviously, you can't feel it, but you can try to trust my word on it right now. It is memory foam. So it's extremely cushiony for an infant, newborn, toddler, and well, anyone that sits on it, it's gonna be cushy for. Um, Cruise is also really comfortable. And the great thing about Cruise is all the fabric does come off and you can easily wash it. And uh, so if there's any problems, spit ups, things like that, you can get that fabric off. Um, the, both strollers obviously have five point safety harnesses. They're really similar in that matter. Um, included with your cruise is a bumper bar. The bumper bar can open from either side and pivots so you can easily get your child in or out. I personally use this bumper bar with my child on, on my stroller, which is a different stroller, to hang toys on or pacifiers, things like that, so they didn't throw them out of the stroller when we were, you know, walking through the mall or just out and about, which we did lose quite a few toys before I realized to do that. Um, the Mamas and Papas Armadillo does not have a bumper bar option. It's not even an accessory. So you can't have the bumper bar across the child, but if you do wanna to add toys, it is really easy to hook it onto the side and it won't interfere with the opening and the closing at all. Uh, another similarity between the two strollers is the fact that they both have bassinets as additional accessories. My opinion with the Cruise is that, yes, the Cruise is considered newborn friendly by a baby. I personally, as a parent, um, and someone who works in this industry would like to see a little bit of a flatter recline for a newborn stroller. So because of that, I personally recommend to my customers to purchase the bassinet when getting the, um, the cruise. It's not, like obviously you can use the car seat. Both strollers do accept car seats by multiple brands, but I just feel that the bassinet is a healthier choice for a child. Laying flat is always something that's recommended by pediatricians. So in order to do that with the cruise, you're gonna to need to purchase the bassinet.
Um, and obviously laying flat may not be ideal for all children. You know, I've heard stories about children that are, have acid reflux and things like that, but you make the decision on your own for your own child. So the bassinet would pop on, and it is a hard bottom bassinet. So it can be used on the floor in your home, you know, if you go to other people's houses. Great thing about the bassinet is obviously the additional sun protection. You'll also notice there is a ventilation panel in the back, great for those summer months, as well as an awesome apron on the front that zips on, great for the winter months. The mattress is really cushy and made of organic cotton, the fabric over it. And it's super easy to get on and off by simply lifting up on the top right here. There's a button, I don't know if you can see it. You just press that button right there and lift. You'll also notice on the bottom, there's a ventilation panel. So this stroller, this uh, carry cot bassinet is really packed with ventilation options. The armadillo also has an optional bassinet. Like I said, I'm a huge lover of bassinets on rollers. I like the look of them. I used to put a, a changing pad under my son and change him in the bassinet which was great if we were out and about as opposed to using dirty changing tables. Um, so I do, I do like getting the bassinet, but I don't feel that it's an absolute necessity with the armadillo because this recline is exceptionally flat. Um, but it's still an option. This bassinet also has a ventilation panel in the back, same as the Up Baby Cruise. The mattress is actually also really soft and cushiony. Um, it almost feels like a brushed cotton, I think. Very, very nice and plush. The apron also zips on for that extra protection. There is no additional panel for sun protection. Obviously, that comes out on this one, so that's another, that's another difference between the two strollers. Both strollers have foot brakes. Here you'll see on the Papa Baby, it's right in the center. And on the Armadillo, it's over here on the end. Really easy to push and release. Both very flip flop fun friendly, like we call it here. Um, all in all, I'm gonna tell you that both strollers are an excellent choice for families looking to purchase something that's gonna last for a really long time. It really comes down to what you really like the look of better. And maybe if there's a little feature here or there that appeals to you a little bit more. I will tell you just from the differences from the XT, we discussed the XT, which is $100 more in the Armadillo, has tires that are a little bit, have bigger treads on them, so they're a little bit bigger. It also has a um, pocket on the exterior of the basket, so just store a few extra things. It has the extendable handlebar, and it has a leather wrapped handlebar, as well as um, a little bit extra cushioning on the seat. So those are the features that you're gonna receive if you pay that $100 more for the XT version, and the colors are different. There are several colors in the Armadillo, there are several colors in the Up Baby Cruise, and it's about choosing what works for you. Both have a lot of accessories and a lot of options to make it the right fit for you and your family. If you like this video, you can give us a call at 732-431-0008. We're happy to help you make the decision. We also have both strollers in stock, and they can be shipped out immediately within the continental US with free shipping. I'm Vanessa Antonelli from Nestle Baby.